Hey guys, Merlin here, and today we're going to be doing another deck. We're going to be using my, <clears throat> sorry guys, Wrath of Domri deck. Now I call it the Wrath of Domri deck due to, it does have two Domri's in it. It has Domri, Anarchobolus, and Domri Chaosbringer. But the main focus of the deck is Grumgully the Generous. Each other non-human creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. So we have Pelt Collector, who's an Elf Warrior. Uh, we got Nessian Horn Beetle. Zerta Goblin. We got Hydra's Growth to double the counters. And of course we have Clothis, God of Destiny. Rubble Belt Runner. Uh, Sunder Shaman. Nisa Who Shakes the World. Gargos Vicious Watcher. And Voracious Hydra. And then land's pretty basic. It's uh, four temple, uh, two stomping ground, four rugged highlands, six forest, and six mountains. So that equals out to 12, 18, 24 mana. And then for the creature uh, control, we have shock, Jay is greeting, skewer the critics. And that's about it, because that's usually all the deck requires. So we're going to go here. We're going to switch decks. Okay, so the main goal of this deck is to get Grumgully out. And then when the creatures start using their riot abilities, he'll give them an additional plus one, plus one counter. So they'll get plus two, plus two. And then use cards like... Uh... Oh, what was it? Uh... Shit. Oh, yeah. Hydra's Growth. And then we have all these lovely cards like Temple of Abandon to Scry, Rugged Highlands to gain life. So we'll Scry one. And there's our Rubble Belt, so we'll leave him right where he's at. And the nice thing is on like two turns from now, I'll be able to start dropping cards like Domri. Alright, so we're going to Rugged. We're going to Shock. Get rid of that 2-1 uh, Death Touch. And then we can drop Zerta Goblin and go to town. And we're going to give him the Riot, so he's a 3-3. Now, I was hoping that I would see uh, Grumgully pretty soon, but... Uh, yeah. No such luck on that. There we go, a Mountain. We're going to drop Domri Anarchobolus. And use his plus one ability. Uh, pick red. Swing. Not going to block. Okay. So let's see here. Next, we're probably going to drop... <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Anarch took a hit. Alright, we're going to... Actually... Use his plus ability. We're going to get green mana. Out comes Nisa. She gives me additional green mana from my forests. Together, we will prevail. And we're going to use her plus one ability. And make this a 3-3 three, three mountain. Behold, makes us true power. Play that, gain the life. And... We're an attack. I know one's going to get blocked by the Mire Triton, which is fine. I have to kill it anyways, so... Yeah. There goes my mountain. Now, here's where the fun starts. I can use him to produce mana. I use her ability. When I have forest, anyways. Undercity's Embrace. Yeah, that's... No. 
Each fighter sacks a... Sp okay, so you can have my Domri. Alright, he's gonna attack Nisa. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna Jaya's greeting. Leave that right where it's at. Use Nisa's plus one ability. Turn that rugged Highland into his 3-3. Three, three. And my turn. And pretty soon here, as soon as I start getting the mountains out, I'll be dropping uh, Voracious Hydra. Alright, there we go. Mountain. Rubble Belt Runner. Nisa's plus one. All right, swing for six. But this is what I was talking about as far as, like, I've posted some things on Facebook about the slow and clunky decks. This is a green-black deck. I'm already at 23 life. He's only at seven. And, yeah. I'd say he's not faring too well. Because he can play that, I'm just going to end up sacking probably the Rubble Belt. And... Pretty sure... Alright, so we're going to do Rubble Belt. Create a 3-3. Three, three. And swing. And so, basically, these decks that I've gone up against are kind of slow and clunky. It takes them a while to get momentum. Yeah, there goes my opponent. Uh, case in point. The goal for this deck is to last long enough that either my opponent just can't get enough momentum or they just quit like that opponent did. So let me check this here. Waiting for server. There we go. Ooh. That's a lot of cards. Ooh. Oh, wow. The new Jace is like 20000 for a puppet Jace. Yikes. I mean, they have some pretty good deals here. We got Sigil of an Empty Throne. Nice. Alright, anyways, go home here. So if we look at this deck. We see that there is a lot of Nessian Horn Beetles, uh, Pelt Collector, Zyrta Goblin, Hydra's Growth, uh, you know, Grum Gully. My main focus of this deck was Grum Gully. That's why there's two of him in the deck. I only use two because he is a legendary creature. And it does me no good to dead draw into one if I already have one out. So, between that and the four temples of abandon, maybe I can scry into him. But my heaviest hitter right now in this deck is Gargos, the Vicious Watcher. Hydra spells I cast cost four less to cast. And whenever a creature I control becomes a target of a spell, Gargos Vicious Watcher fights up to one target creature you don't control. And give me just a second, I just have to check his chat. Okay. So, I only use one Nylia the Keen Eyed. Okay. I use one Nisa who shakes the world. And I use one of each of the Domries. Between all of that, I'm able to produce, I'd say, a pretty, want to say, lethal force. Because, as you saw, my opponent was killing creatures, blocking creatures, and I still was able to, like, basically run him over, more or less. Give me just a second, guys. I'm just going to take a quick drink here. Now, 
Let's discuss dual lands. So we're going to keep this hand. Now, granted my opening hand has two mountains. For me right now, it's best to play this. Because not only am I gaining a life, I'm also getting the fact that it comes into play tapped out of the way. That way on my next turn, I can drop mountains and I'll have no issues. Okay, plains and island. Now for Temple of Abandon, I'm going to wait. Because now it's time to get a creature into play. Okay. In comes Omen of the Sea. She gets to scry two and draw a card. Now, on my next move, I will probably be dropping... Yeah, we're going to go Temple of Abandon. And there's my Rubble Belt. Okay. We're going to swing. See if he blocks, which I don't think he can. Oh yeah, as long as he has... He can block unless... Or can't block if you have four or less... Or four more cards in hand. So... Oh, unless you have four more. Okay, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Alright, we shock it. And there you go. Big threat out of the way. Which in all actuality, a 5-4 for two really isn't that bad. Even with the stipulations they placed on it. And if you control four or more land, untap it. Alright, the birth of Me Melitus. Search your library for basic planes, reveal it. He's definitely got the mana edge on me. So we're going to drop this. We're going to drop Rubble Belt. On my next move, I'm going to drop my Mountain. Let's see. I need five or more to make her a creature. So that'd be one, two, three. Hmm. So, for this turn, we have Skewer the Critics, which is only really good if I can get it for the Spectacle. So, which looks like I can. Shock. We're going to Skewer the Critics. So, there's five damage. Nessian Horn Beetle. He's going to block with a 0-4. Oh, or not. Okay, then. Okay, so his next ability is to gain 2 life. I'm probably going to drop my Nylia the Keen-Eyed. And see if I can't get to the 5 green devotion there. Oh, Doom Foretold. There it is. Uh, you can have my horn beetle. Alright, so we're going to wait on playing her. We're going to swing. Skewer the critics. And there we go. Now I have Nylia. And I can pay three to reveal the top card of my library. If it's a creature card, put it into my hand. Otherwise, you may put it into your graveyard. And now he's just going to start building up a wall. This isn't a fight you can win. Okay, I'm let... Don't make this. Might be a bad idea. Okay. Ooh. Gonna drop that one, gonna drop that one. Okay, so he's got his stone walls. I need to get a shock just so I can kill it. Let's see. Return up to one target creature to return to its owner's hand. I'll protect you. 
All right, there's my Nisa. And she's now a creature, and now we have this. I'm going to be swinging with a temple. All right. Ah. Uh. Hey, Nylia survived. Okay. So that's how we're going to be working this. Versing, yeah. Shatter in, or shatter the sky. No, thank you. All right, so I'm actually gonna give my Zerta haste. Let's try this. Actually, what's this do? Okay, it's gonna be Nisa. Or not? Yeah, Nisa. Yep. All right, so pelt collector. And I don't have the mana for that now. Okay. Non creature spells your opponent cast cost two more to cast until your next turn. Return target creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to the battlefield to put a plus one plus one counter on it or load counter on it. Okay. Probably a good thing that I'm not fighting or not uh, killing his Teferi at this moment in time. Dance, to the, dance of the Mons. Okay. All right. Yep, yeah, I'm just going to give him this match because it's, yeah, it's one of those things. Okay, so. Yep, I'll go back down one. That should have been enough cards. Yep. All right, let's get our pack opened. And I got a free uncommon wild card. Hey, an Avantress. Okay. We'll take it. Okay, so the deck had a 50%. Just a second, guys. Okay. So, the deck had a 50% win rate for this video. So, let's take one more look at it. I didn't see any Grum Gully, which is kind of sad, but... You know, kind of one of those things. The deck wasn't too bad between Jaya's Greeting, Pelt Collector, uh, Nessian. One guy I thoroughly thrashed. One guy thoroughly thrashed me between uh, time or Tefiri's time management. So, all right, guys. I hope you liked the video. And if you like the videos I'm doing, please hit the subscribe button. Also, hit like on the video. And give me a shout out in the comment section on a deck or card you'd like to see featured in a video. And I'll definitely give you acknowledgement and I'll give you a shout out in vid and in chat. Alright guys, you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys on the next upload.